The UN has predicted that the world's population will rise from approximately 7 billion people in 2017 to approximately 10 billion people in 2050. By then, 70% of people will live in cities. However, larger cities will use increasing amounts of resources such as land, energy or water, producing ever more waste and waste water. But what environmental risks will arise for urban areas from the global increase of cities? What are the implications? How can this development be controlled sustainably? An international group of scientists at the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research, UFZ, is working on these questions in an integrated project called Urban Transformations. Unlike other research institutes that cover urban topics, the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research has a specific objective – the managing of natural resources for the good of the people and environmental sustainability. Our main advantage is that we can combine completely different disciplines and scientific approaches. This is very important for resolving the complex challenges present in cities, especially concerning environmental resources. The scientists in the project consider urban transformation, for example, the way that cities change and their ability to adapt to different environmental factors. They analyze the complexity of social and commercial structures and use of resources. For example, traffic causes high concentrations of airborne pollutants. Open spaces are increasingly being built on and paved over. Extreme weather events cause heat stress and increase the risk of flooding. Chemicals and pharmaceuticals contaminate groundwater if water treatment is inadequate. The researchers see the city of Leipzig as a particular case study area. Here, for example, they give a scientist a tool for taking measurements and ask him to record temperature, noise and air pollution data on a defined route. 66 citizens took part in a pilot project, taking such measurements. The important thing is that we are able to combine this scientific data with social science related perceptions and measurements. This is very important because it enables us to prove how the actual natural science measurement results gathered relate to the perception and behavior of the local population. The research results produced by the scientists in the integrated project are an important element for the United Nations Global Sustainability Agenda by 2030, which is being supported by Sustainable Development Goals. For example, goal number 11 defines that cities are to be developed sustainably to make them inclusive, safe and attractive places to live. Cities are not just problem places. Solutions are developed in cities too. To do this, political and business decision makers alike should make use of the knowledge and research results provided by scientists. And who needs them? Well, town planners need them, as do environmental planners and staff in local government offices, so they can make carefully selected small-scale decisions to solve current problems and to take into account the future development of cities. In addition, the research in the integrated project is split up between several international cooperative projects. For example, researchers are working with Jordanian and Indian colleagues to investigate urban growth and implications for water supplies and wastewater treatment. The researchers also participate in committees such as the Scientific Advisory Board of the Joint Programming Initiative Urban Europe. Worldwide, humanity is confronted by social tensions, increasing economic inequality, environmental catastrophes and migration streams. All these challenges culminate in cities. For these reasons, we must set the goal of developing sustainable cities and direct our efforts toward meeting these challenges. In our Integrated Urban Transformations project, we provide knowledge, solutions and options for how to proceed with the primary aim of ensuring that we and the next generations have an environment worth living in.